Now let's look at, let's come to the crux of the whole thing, the economy. Global economies are confronted with a range of geopolitical challenges and conflicts. They must deal with the effects of high energy and fuel prices, high inflation and disruptions in trade. All have had a negative impact on the South African economy. These have caused a cost of living crisis globally as well as in South Africa with devastating effects on the poor. Yes, this does not discount or excuse 30 years of economic policy uncertainty. It does not explain the gross mismanagement of the South African economy perpetrated by ANC governments. Under a successful, under a succession of incompetent ANC governments, South Africa's economic growth is less than 1% per annum, and the unemployment rate has reached crisis levels at northwards of 30%. In the last 30 years, ANC governments have failed to invest in the majority of citizens to generate more industrialists and wealth creators. The erstwhile businesses or business giants the erstwhile business giants have left the country with their cash. They delisted and very little was done to fill that gap. The ANC's removal of incentives and the closure of the so-called border industries was a fatal mistake and negatively affected employment. Even now, when our youth are trained via CETA, via the CETA system, they are not absorbed in the labor market. A UDM government, among others, uh, follows a manageable uh, public debt and budget deficit that has fiscal discipline as a basis, basic tenant to ensure that government borrowing stays within reason allowing for some flexibility to invest in infrastructure development to address the imbalances and, in, and inequality whilst creating jobs. We will also establish sector banks for the youth and marginalized communities to access capital to venture into industries such as textile, agribusiness, steel, farming, and food production so that they might become wealth creators in their own right and create jobs. We need to have a distinct national fund to assist entrepreneurs, artisans, and artists to develop the latent talent in South Africa. Skills of this nature <coughs> Skills of this nature have assisted African people in the past when they ascended to power and the state took a leading role in their development. We have been promised industrialization for years by the Department of Industry with no industrialists to show after billions have been invested in this endeavor. It is not surprising that this has been another lie. We, can, we do not have an industrial policy to guide this activity. An industrial policy should be predicated uh, on South Africa's uh, uh, com comparative advantage, endowed as it is with resources. Uh, this, this issue here, yeah, economy, if Sifunui Jonga Kakuli, Ama bulu, ganyabe lungu, abam shop, ama africaner, angena, elulau luin, e tatum buso, emagasin, e poor, e fananat. Quarter bangena, but state will play a leading role, we kunu. Yogel and donatingo, see you, Jim, sit icon, a presidency call. 
Why is our liberal sister Langba exchange dollar it was a guatini? What unga tating and over all small business? Gabona ban to Bafanele and to Bagufa with Malikubo, Ugazel Banalo currency and Nikwazu Ma is Kwazu absorb the external shocks. So sit here as it and a booze into the United Democratic Movement. See, I aware into the Ungana way ANC, Yangana, I inherit a economic policy. A I appoint states as intervene corner, albeit under separate development. But ung intervene kwa abo kwa kukwaz bagbe kona mashishini jengba sasbona ko pai ko 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 ruleni ko kwandebela ko former transkai rich government ya ine factory goku indo spe luanga yo silindele indo ba magu tatwe imali aba pia pensioners ia mbeyo wenza ipi i transactions ipelele up what about the rest of the 60 million black South Africans there is no way up to 60 million population in the Myama is a Jewish or Gwembovane if you have a million people who are in the world, about 3 million. We ANC will last 30 years. We will invest in the world in the Myama. Therefore, you are the champion of London. We are the champion of London. We are the champion of London. We are the champion of we will make sure Basia intervene with state, with economy, and also the private sector. Ufnega itale in the Mayayo, Yegelendo Valip in Kampani, Itonegapan. This advantage should be exploited for long term competitiveness and sustainable growth, optimal exploration and utilization of resources to enhance the country's ability to produce a particular good or service at a lower cost than its trading partners should inform the industry policy. Creating infrastructure for industrial parks and special economic zones should form part of the pillars of the sector master plans, which have proved successful in Asia. The constant chopping and changing in our economic policies, in our economic policies with the tripartite alliance partners vetoing powers, erodes investor confidence and drives out entrepreneurship. The history of South Africa should be at uppermost in our minds when we talk about economy land and property. Militarily speaking, in the past conflict between black and the white in this country, there was no winner and South Africans have always turned to the negotiating table to resolve our differences. The CODESA process, however, never finalized the matter of land and property and we have never found consensus on the economic empowerment of the majority of our citizens. In addition, the ugly heads of tribalism and racism are rearing their heads again. The land tenure system as well as the Ingonyama Trust in Guazulu Natal and the cut-off date for any other claim, land claims must be addressed. The UDM therefore proposes a national dialogue on these issues and others pertaining to land immediately after elections. These contentious issues will never be solved by one political party alone. We need to find a sustainable or rather a suitable way to resolve this matter around a table instead of at the end of a rifle. 